Maine Coons are the largest breed of domestic cat with some of them weighing in at over 20 pounds. Surprisingly, this is not the case. Maine Coons do not need a special diet. You may however want to modify what you give and how often them, depending on the age, health, and weight. There is no right or wrong answer, but discussion with your veterinarian is advisable before making any changes to your Maine Coons diet. How you feed your Maine Coon is entirely up to you. This will largely depend on your Maine Coon's health and individual preference, and to some degree, the cost. Your options for feeding your Maine Coon are fourfold. Wet food, dry food, raw diet, a mixture of the above. In this article we will discuss what to feed your Maine Coon, including what no to feed them, how to convert to a raw food diet, what to feed kittens, and also a bit of detail about special diets for Maine Coons. Maine Coons require a well-balanced diet to keep their joints healthy and their coats glossy. Ideally, they require high-protein foods, which are low in fat and high in nutrients. There's no right or wrong answer, it's really up to your preference as an owner, with agreement from your coon of course. Guidelines do suggest that adult Maine Coons should be having 26 to 40 percent of their diet as protein. It's advisable to use a ceramic bowl rather than a plastic bowl for your Maine Coon to feed from. These plastic bowls can develop scratches and cracks in which bacteria can hide, making them very difficult to clean properly. This can result in your Maine Coon developing chin acne, which can be really difficult to get rid of. Of course, the other thing to think about is the fact that ceramic bowls are much better for the planet, as we should all be trying to reduce our use of plastics, pet care included. Of course your Maine Coon should always have plenty of fresh drinking water available at all times. You may find that your Maine Coon doesn't enjoy a drinking from their bowl and are constantly trying to turn on the taps and drink from there instead. Maine Coons love running water and this may stem back to the survival instinct that running water is less likely to harbor bacteria than still water. So, what should you feed your Maine Coon? Well, let's start off with foods you should be avoiding in your Maine Coon's diet. Foods to avoid. Large fish. These should be avoided, as these can contain high levels of mercury. A little bit of tinned tuna every now and then won't hurt, but you really shouldn't be giving this to your Maine Coon on a regular basis. Smaller fish, such as sardines, should be just fine. Chocolate and caffeine. Both of these contain a substance called methylxanthines, which can be poisonous to cats. Darker chocolate has a higher methylxanthine content than milk and white chocolate. Symptoms of methylxanthine poisoning include diarrhea, vomiting, muscle tremors and seizures. Alcohol. Ingesting alcohol can be dangerous for cats. It can cause vomiting, diarrhea, seizures and in the worst cases, coma and death. If your coon does ingest alcohol, then take them to the vet immediately. Do not wait for symptoms to arise. Milk. Cats are unable to digest the lactose present in milk, and it can make them really unwell. Even as a kitten cat's digestive systems are only able to tolerate milk from their mother or a specialized baby cat formula if they are being hand-reared. Gluten. Maine Coons are known to have sensitive stomach, and this can be aggravated by gluten. Have a good read of the list of ingredients and avoid foods containing fillers, such as corn and wheat. These are no good nutritionally for your Maine Coon and can actually cause them digestive issues. You really want to avoid anything that might cause diarrhea in a Maine Coon. It's distressing for the cat but also difficult to manage in terms of keeping their long fur clean. Dog food. Although dog food itself is not dangerous to cats it does not contain all of the vitamins and minerals required in a healthy feline diet. Cats are unable to synthesize an amino acid called taurine, and so this needs to be included in their diet. Dog food does not contain this because dogs are able to produce taurine themselves. Dogs also require less vitamin A and their food reflects this. Garlic and onions. Onions and garlic are members of the Allium family, along with chives, leeks, and scallions. 
These are poisonous to both cats and dogs, but cats are much more severely affected. Members of the allium family contain compounds called disulfides and thiosulfate. Ingestion equivalent to 0.5% of their body weight will causes issues but garlic is 5 times stronger than onion. Disulfides and thiosulfate cause rapid development of anemia, which leads to lethargy, shortness of breath, fast heart rate and in the most extreme cases, death. Raisins and grapes. Even a small amount of these can cause serious illness in cats with symptoms appear within 12 to 24 hours of ingestion. Should I feed my Maine Coon solely with dried food? Maine Coons do not drink a lot of water. They get most of their hydration from the foods they eat. Therefore feeding them a diet of solely dried food may not be advisable as your Maine Coon may end up dehydrated over the long term. This can have a negative impact on their kidney function. Dried foods should not however be discounted from the diet. Maine Coons are susceptible to gum disease. Gingivitis occurs due to a buildup of plaque on the teeth, and this leads to irritation of the surrounding gum. If this progresses, then it can cause pain and affect your Maine Coon's ability to eat. Including dried food in the diet is a good way of preventing plaque buildup on the teeth. Raw Food Diet What is a raw diet for cats? Cats fed a raw diet eat only raw meat protein, like they would out in the wild. The usual ratio is 75-15-10. This means 75% muscle meat, 15% animal bone, and 10% organs. Heart can be given and would count as a muscle meat rather than an organ. Raw food can be made up at home, or a pre-made raw food mix can be purchased from the store. A mixture of different raw meats is recommended to ensure that your cat gets all of the amino acids they require. Taurine supplementation may be required if your cat has taken to eating a lot of one type of meat, especially rabbit. Many breeders will wean kittens onto raw food. Some insist that this diet is continued once the kittens are home with their new owners. Others will wean them onto store-bought wet or dry foods prior to them leaving for their new homes. A raw food diet can be a good option for coons who have been found to have allergies. Many coons who are unable to tolerate the different dried foods available find that their symptoms are much improved on a raw food diet. Prey Raw Model Diet The Prey Raw Model PRM, diet aims to replicate the diet of a wild cat without the need to hunt and kill prey. This diet is made up from 84% muscle meat, 6% raw bone, 5% liver, and 5% other organs. Frank and prey feeding this diet follows the guidelines of the PRN diet, 84655, but owners feed their coons a variety of different meat proteins in one meal. Whole prey feeding. Whole prey feeding provides the exact proportions of muscle, bone, and organs that your cat needs in their diet. Some owners will choose to feed whole prey with feathers and innards intact TG day old chicks. Whole prey provides several benefits for your Maine Coon, including endorphin release and natural teeth cleaning. How do I switch my Maine Coon to raw food diet? Depending on how your cat gets on this process can take one to two weeks. Older cats may take even longer if they have been brought up eating processed foods. Weaning a cat onto a raw food diet is a step-by-step -step process which requires a lot of trial and error. Start by creating a meal made up of only one type of protein. Make a small batch to test with. If your coon eats this without any problems then you know that they like this type of meat protein. Give it a bit of time to check it is not causing them any allergies. Chicken is usually a good place to start. The next step is to add in a small amount of edible bone. This should make up around 15% of the meal. If you find that the raw diet is causing your cat to have diarrhea, then a good idea is to increase the amount of bone you are giving them to begin with. Quail bones are a good option for cats. Continue with feeding the raw meat and bones until the stools are regular again before moving on to include organs. Now you can look at adding organs such as liver. Chicken liver is the mildest so this is a good one to test first. Pork and beef liver can be much stronger and can cause digestive upset so are best left for later once your coon is used to their new raw diet. 
Take it slowly and do not allow your cat to go more than 24 hours without eating. If they are not accepting the food you have provided them, then go back a step to the last recipe that they enjoyed. Once they are eating again, try them with a different raw protein combination. An example of a good raw food recipe for cats is as follows. 650 grams chicken thigh meat, 150 grams chicken backbones or ribs, 100 grams chicken liver, 1 egg, 1 tin of sardines in tomato sauce. Cut up the sardines into pieces. Mix the egg into the fish and tomato to create a sauce. Chop the meat into pieces and mix into the sauce. How much raw food should a Maine Coon eat per day? Kittens should be allowed to eat until they are full. If they ask for food, then they should be given it. They need as much protein and energy for growing as they can get. Adults should be fed somewhere between 3 and 5% of their body weight to ensure that they maintain a healthy weight. How long can you leave raw food out before it spoils? Leaving raw food out for a maximum of 12 hours should be just fine, but it does depend on the environment. If it is a particularly hot day, then foods will spoil quicker. If your coon can learn to eat at a set meal time, then this will ensure that they will become hungry at the right time, and foods will be eaten in a timely fashion. Should I allow my coon to eat wild prey? This is a bit of a contentious issue. The worry here is that you do not know if wild prey was unwell, and therefore carrying germs, or had ingested anything dangerous e.g. poisons. Cat's stomach acid is much stronger than humans, so the occasional wild prey will likely not do any harm. Do Maine Coon kittens need different food? Kittens do have nutritional needs from fully grown Maine Coons. Current dietary guidelines state that kittens should eat foods comprised of 30 to 45 percent protein. This is in contrast to adult cats who only need 26 to 40 percent protein in their diet. If you read the labels you will find that specialist kitten foods are a lot higher in protein content. Another difference between adult and kitten foods is that dry foods for kittens are also a lot smaller. This is simply because kittens find it difficult to chew and digest the large pieces of kibble which come in the adult Maine Coon dried food mix. How much do Maine Coon kittens need to eat and how often should you feed them? In the first four weeks of a life the kitten should be feeding from their mother. Her milk should provide them with all of the nutrients they need. If there is a problem with feeding then consult a veterinarian. Just as an example, in the case of our kittens, the mother developed mastitis at two weeks, an infection of the mammary tissue. This resulted in her being unable to feed her litter of six. Therefore they needed to be hand reared. Sadly. Not all of the kittens took to feeding from a bottle, and only two of the six survived, are two lovely coons. Hand rearing involves feeding the kittens the specially formulated milk by bottle. This needs to be done every couple of hours, including throughout the night. If the kittens are sleeping, they need to be woken up and encouraged to feed. From the age of four weeks the nutrients in their mother's milk will not longer be sufficient to support their growing bodies and therefore other foods need to be introduced. Kittens have very small stomachs and therefore cannot eat much in one go. During the day they will need to eat up to six meals and this will continue on until they reach the age of six months. From the age of six months you can reduce feeding to three to four times a day. At the age of 10 to 12 months this can then be reduced twice a day, as you would feed an adult cat. When it comes to deciding what foods to give your new kitten it is a good idea to discuss this with the breeder. Continuing on with familiar foods is usually a good idea to begin with. Moving to a new house is already a huge change for such a young animal. Changing what they eat at the same time will only cause them added stress, which can have a significant impact on their ability to settle into their new home. There is also a high chance that they would develop diarrhea if their foods are changed over too quickly. Thanks for watching.